Has your teacher posted assignments that show up as a PDF in a web browser? You try to type the information in, but it doesn't save and you lose it. So what we're showing you here is how to take a PDF, type in the information, save the information, and upload it to Focus. Are you ready? Okay, so there's been some confusion with PDFs and how students are able to fill in their answers and their information and save it and then re-upload it back into a focus assignment. So let's walk through the process. So first we're going to come down here and we're going to go to one of the teacher's web pages and then we're going to go to resources, chapter 2 content, and we're going to go to chapter 2, lesson 1. So notice this opens into a PDF. So you can see here's the whole PDF, it's eight pages. If I were to type in here and I go to try to do something with it, save it, download it, whatever, it's going to lose all of the information I typed. So before you type anything, the first thing you need to do is come over here to the side, click on the download button. You can see it kind of labels it here. Sometimes it's nice to change it to the teacher's name so it makes it real easy for you. However you want to save it. And then you'll see it's automatically going to your downloads folder and we'll say save. Now you see for me it comes down here at the bottom. You may have to go a little bit different way which is go into your finder which is the square guy with the blue and white face and we can open up that. We'll go over here to downloads and then you're gonna see there it is chapter 2 lesson 1 Thomas PDF. Do not click on that whether you go this way or if you use the one at the bottom of Chrome. Either way you're gonna take two fingers. Right, you're gonna take two fingers and on the right hand side of your mouse trackpad on your laptop you're gonna two finger right click and you have the choice of open with all right, so open with, and you come over here and you'll see where it says preview. It may say system viewer. It's weird. Sometimes they pop up differently. But preview should be what you see. So we're going to say open with preview default. If you just clicked on it, it would just open it again in the online version. So now you can see type, type, right? Now also you'll notice that on some of the ones that ask you to maybe uh, circle the answer. Let's see, I know I saw it on one of these. Um, let's say it was a circle the answer. I don't see it here. But let's say um, you want to circle it. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight this, this selection that you want to choose. You'll come up here. You can see there's like a little pen symbol. Drop down. You can choose whichever one you want. I'm going to choose yellow. And now my selection is highlighted so the teacher will know which one was my selection. When you're all done, you're going to come back up here to File and save and that way it will save everything that you've typed and done with the changes alright once you save that then you can go back into the lesson on focus and upload that file if the teacher has it in focus and how you'll know is if you go down here into the teachers assignments and how you get to their assignments is where it says not graded or it says the grade whatever it is You'll click on the grade, if even if it says not graded, and it takes you to their assignment page. See where it says edit upload? You simply click on edit upload, select the file, choose the file you want. We know that was Thomas. Let's see, yeah, let me look. Thomas. There it is. Chapter two, lesson one, Thomas, open, and then I would close and it would be there. All right, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to upload some random assignment to this student's pay, uh, assignment. But that gives you the idea. So you know how I said I didn't want to accidentally upload some random thing? I did. So let me show you how to change that. We're going to come over here. We're going to click on the edit upload. Maybe you uploaded something, realized you forgot to do a part of it, and you need to re-upload it. So you'll click on edit upload. Click on the little negative button. It's going to say, are you sure you want to delete this? I say, okay. You see it working, deleting, 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 deleting. All right, so once it's deleted, you can now, sometimes you have to hit the refresh button. So there's the little refresh, it's the little circular arrow. And then, okay, now you can click on edit upload and select the new file that you want. 
All right, so hopefully that solves some, if not all, of your problems.